This is a Corte Bear movement. It is uh, from a watch that was uh, given to me for repair by a uh, lady by the name of Nicole for Papa Jim, her grandfather. Uh, just doing very brief research, this is the particular dial that has been removed and um, the watch uh, case itself. The reason I'm not, uh, don't have finger cots on is because all of this will be cleaned. The watch did not work at all uh, when I received it and uh, was able to get the balance to turn after just providing a little oil to the end stones. However, at this point, I'm going to be uh, dismantling the movement, cleaning the parts, and then reassembling the movement. Uh, there's several markings on uh, the watch. It's a Corte Bear watch company. It is a 17 uh, jewel unadjusted, uh, and it is Swiss made. Uh, just quickly from Wikipedia here, uh, Corte Bear was one of the highest regarded premium watch brands, manufacturing their own movements, supplying movements to other brands such as Rolex, Rolex and introducing a jump hour movement later adopted by IWC when the quartz crisis hit the industry in the 70s. The majority of prestige brands ceased production, including Corte Bear. So from what I understand of the history of watches, once Seiko um, uh, invented the quartz movement, watches became so inexpensive and the mechanical watch manufacturers, many went out of business. And it sounds like Corte Bear went out of business at that time. So this is just an introductory video, uh, and I'm going to start the process of dismantling. With this particular movement, I'm going to need to be very careful um, and uh, take a lot of pictures since I am unfamiliar uh, with this movement. The only mechanical movement I have dismantled, uh, reassemb cleaned, reassembled, and lubricated is the ETA 6497 and the ETA 6498. Stay tuned.